Well, good morning, lovely ladies and gentlemen. Coach Steve Collins coming to you live from San Antonio, Texas, the second most powerful, passionate, purposeful coach and speaker in the world. I'm going to try this again. I made this video earlier, but then it died in the middle and tried to reconnect. So here we go again, the mental ownership edge. Let me tell you, I have a challenge for you adults today. And it's a challenge that I gave my boys who both started working earlier this year at Jobs, one at Kane's Chicken, one at Baskin Robbins. And it's a conversation I had with them that I would like to have with you this morning. Okay, the conversation I had one day, as they were telling me things going on at, you know, at work and, and what it was like there and the people and the leadership, I said, here's what I'm gonna challenge you to do, kids. I challenge you, I drop them off at work. I challenge you, when I pull up to the place of business, when you get out, don't just walk right in. Stand there and look at the building for four or five seconds and get this mindset. This is not a franchise where I work. This is my business that I started five years ago. I own this place. I am the owner of this business, and I also happen to operate and work among the people at my business. I'm not just a distance owner, I'm an actual owner operator who works here, and I want you to go into this place, if you will accept the challenge, guys, with the mindset that you own the place. And the people that are there are people you hired to come work at your business. And I want you to tell me how it makes things different for you. And may I tell you, it was an eye opener for them. Absolutely blew them away. When we talked and I picked them up at the end of their shifts, what happened? Dad, you messed me up. You wrecked me. It's crazy. I walked in and all of a sudden I noticed about a thousand other things that I would never have noticed before. I noticed the trash on the floor in the corner. I noticed the dust on the table over there. I noticed Sally over there doing nothing. Like she's just, she's doing as little as possible. And she's just got a bad attitude and she's not making the customers feel good. And I could see it in the, in the eyes of several of the customers, man. They're not impressed. And I mean, wow, it changed everything. I said, well, how did it change everything? And, and, and how did you take it out of thought into action? Well, I was much more aware of what I was doing. I was, if there was trash over there, I picked it up. If it was dirty over there, I wiped it down. I never had a moment where I was standing around waiting to do nothing because there's always something to do to make the place look better or feel better or to interact with customers. Completely different experience. Adults, I challenge you to do this. If you're unfulfilled in your work, if you're upset at the job you are doing, if you do not like the people you work around or your boss, I challenge you to do the same thing. Show up to work and do the same thing. Get out of your car, stand in front of the building and say, I own this business. This is my business. The people in here were hired by me. I am the owner. I don't work here. I'm not just here to clock my nine to five, punch a time clock and get out of here and get my damn check. I own the place. And I want you to see how different life can be for you. You know, a lot of people judge entrepreneurs. Oh man, they look like they have it good. Well, you don't know what they did to get there. You don't know the price that was paid. You don't know the weight of responsibility of knowing if it is to be, it is up to me. You don't know the weight of the reality that you cannot expect people to work harder than you, to be more dedicated than you, and to be more committed than you. You can't expect that. It's not their business. There's a weight that is carried when you take mental ownership. And if you want to grow and you want to be promoted and you want to move to bigger and better places in your job and in your work, then I challenge you to practice this every day. You know what will happen? You won't just get up out of your car with your coffee and walk into the place and look for your seat and sit down and see how long you can chill and look at emails before you get to work. You know what'll happen? You'll get out of your car and you'll notice the trash in the parking lot. You'll notice junk on the ground. You'll notice the fingerprints on the door when you come in. You'll notice the dust on the edges. You'll notice everything because you are now the owner and you're asking yourself constantly, is this, are they a reflection of what I wanted to bring to the marketplace? Is this the standard of excellence? Is this a place where people will want to come back? 
do we really take care of everybody with the utmost value so that we know they will choose to come back and do business with us? Are we doing better than our competitors? In fact, what are our competitors doing? I wonder what they're doing that we're not doing that maybe we could learn from. I wonder where we can take where they're making mistakes and we can improve it. Golly, I wonder, do you see the difference, the mental ownership edge? That mental ownership takes you out of the mindset of an employee placing you in the mindset of an owner so that you can see, huh, maybe, here's a secret, maybe if I took this mindset to work every day, maybe one day I would be able to do something like this or change something like this. At a minimum, I promise you this, you walk in there like an owner, that owner, they gonna know. Manager, they gonna know. What up with Martha? Why is she picking up trash outside? Why is she picking up stuff? Why is she wiping the counter down in the bathroom? Why is she wiping down the mirror in the bathroom? What is up with Martha? What is she doing? Why is she staying a little bit later? Why is she coming in a little bit early? Why is she encouraging people? Why is she picking stuff off of the carpet? That's not her job. You see, everything changes when you take on the ownership mindset. Everything changes. The mental ownership edge is the difference maker if you are in a job to determine if you even potentially qualify to step onto the arena of entrepreneurs and business owners. There are so many things that go on behind the scenes that most people are clueless about when it comes to business ownership. Just as my boys discovered, wow, man, dad, I saw everything completely different you will do the same. May I say something to you? You ain't gonna like it. You probably ain't gonna like it. You know why? Because you feel the weight of responsibility. And you might go, well, Steve, I don't wanna do that. I'm just a worker bee and I'm just here to punch the time clock and get my check. Well, welcome to the rest of your career. Okay, no big deal. If, if, that's, if that floats your boat, let it float your boat. I got no judgment. I'm just saying that one of the ways that you can practice and determine if business ownership is something in your future, if that's something you choose to do or want to do, I'm wanting to bring to you the mindset of the entrepreneurs, the entrepreneurs that I coach and that I'm in relationship with. Everything is their fault. Everything is their fault. This is what we coach to. Everything is your fault. It's all on you. Well, I can't stand this. I got employees. They don't want to come here. They come in late and they're lazy. And, and, and they, I say, all right, Fred, let's have a conversation. You're blaming the employees for not wanting to come in and coming in late and being lazy and not doing hard work. How about we ask this? Where is your DNA in this? Where is your fingerprint in this? Could it be that you have not created a culture and an environment and a workplace that causes them to desire to be there? Could it be that your lack of direction and leadership has left them feeling like lost little puppies? Could it be that you are not doing the stuff that you're supposed to be doing? Well, it did reconnect, thank goodness. Okay, so I'm gonna wrap up with this because I'm at the office. Go to your place of business, accept mental ownership, and pretend that you own the place. See how different you show up. See what you notice. See what other people are experiencing. Show up like you own the place and see how different your workday goes. Have a great day.